everybody. Well, today marks a special day. I did the Merry Widow. It's an opera that was done in 1977 with the Mama Lyric Opera Company. So I was in the ensemble. It was a lot of fun. So I'm doing a peach cake today in honor of the Merry Widow. All right. The peach is slightly hard. So we're gonna, what happens is we're going to cook in either way. Here we go. Okay, we're going to put this in. What's going to happen is these peaches are going to stew in its own juices. Yeah, the Merry Widow was a lot of fun. It was in 77. I really wasn't even going out with anybody yet, but it was a lot of fun for me to do that show. It's an operetta. It, an operetta is a toss-up between a musical and an opera. But, yeah, except there's talking into it. You know, a lot of music, a lot of talking also. And I had a thrill about walking across the stage with the leading man. He was gorgeous. Oh, he was so handsome. Okay. This is going to be melting in its own juices in a minute. It's going to pour the syrup. The peaches are a little hard, but generally when they cook, they will soften. It's really, we're very close to peach season, but not really quite yet. I love the summertime because we can have all these interesting fruits and vegetables and berries. Oh, a little bit more. Mm. Oh, that should be more than enough. Now what I want to do is, I want this to sit for about 10 minutes and sort of let it sit in its own juices, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, I'm going to add in one, one half cup of sugar, just together. The butter has to be very soft. Now I'm going to add in two eggs. Mix this together, then we're going to go to the flour and the baking powder. Okay, now we're going to go to the next thing, which is going to be the flour. Where did I put that cup? I just had it a minute ago. Can I it? Oh, here it is, right under my nose. I'm going to add in one cup of flour before we go to the topping. One cup of flour. We're going to mix this together and we're adding in a teaspoon of baking powder. Right, here we go, one teaspoon of baking powder. Now, the Merry Widow was a thrill in my life because that was a time. We actually did theater. I just want to make sure it's one teaspoon. I believe it is. I want to double check this, because you never know. God, one C. Yep, I'm always right. Here we go. We're going to check out the mix mess. We don't really need this now. I just need to grab the spoon, wash the syrup off, because we've got a little peach syrup. Yeah, folks, the peach is a little bit hard, because it's been an odd time of the year with a lot of fruit, you know, with everything going on lately, odd weather and everything. It doesn't surprise me. We're going to mix this together. Yeah, it was such a thrill to be able to do the Merry Widow. I really loved doing it. It was, it was in the park. And it's going to be dry, but not to worry, folks. It's going to be delicious. It's a summery dish. My mom used to love this cake. I used to make it for my mom all the time. She loved it. And also, it's funny, you can do the same thing in the fall when you have apple season. You can actually make it with, with apple season. So we're going to put the batter into the bowl. It has to be greased. Don't worry about it being dry, folks. This is delicious. Because my mom used to love it when I made it. Okay. I'm going to go to the next step. Let's get folks. Oh, baking powder? Okay. All right. I think it's just some of the getting to me. I don't know what to say. One tablespoon of sugar. And one teaspoon of cinnamon. This is going to become the topping, okay? And then we're going to put the peaches on top of this. Just give me one second. We're just going to get the cinnamon. Okay. I, gotta get, I think we're almost out of cinnamon, folks. Yeah. Ground cinnamon. I always make sure it's not chili powder because my chili powder is always closer to cinnamon. I don't know why I do that, but okay. I'm going to put a little bit of syrup in also. Put this together. Please take me a little bit of syrup. Here we go. Just a little bit of syrup. 
put this together. And we're gonna drown, put this on top of the peaches. All right, we're gonna grab the peaches now. This is gonna go on top of the cake. Now, sometimes, folks, if your peaches are hard, often you can put a little bit of water in to make to, to produce syrup if you have to. I would say about a teaspoon of sugar, of, of water. Sorry, folks. It's a wonderful summery dish. I absolutely love this dish so much. Oh. All right. It should be more than enough. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle this on top. I'm going to get rid of the peaches. What's left over? the rest of the syrup on top. Whatever we have left so it doesn't get wasted. Here we go. All right, we're gonna bake this for about 15, 20 minutes. And here we have a delicious, wonderful homemade peach cake. This is what basically you make this in the summer and this is the honor of the Merry Widow, which I did in 1977. I was a young girl then, I had a lot of fun. My parents came, I think my grandmother was there. You know, I didn't have anybody at the time. I wasn't going out with anybody yet, but it was a lot of fun. Doing the Merry Widow, I remember walking across the stage with, a, with the leading actor and going right out into the audience and sitting on people's laps, doing one number. I don't remember what the number was, but I was one of those young girls. Deborah, Tom Country Kitchen, have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.